Eye popping salaries, growth opportunities, and prospective careers are the main reason why universities continue to get more and more software engineering applications every year. With more and more software engineering graduates every year, there'll be tougher competition for job roles. So it means you need to have a strong set of skills. Simply put, you need to develop skills and traits that set you apart from other software engineers, making a way for a software engineering career. So what are the essential skills to becoming a successful software engineer? In this video, I'll talk about seven essential traits that help you succeed in the software engineering field. So let's get started. First, you need to become a top class coder. Coding is the bread and butter for computer scientists and software engineers. So it's easy to understand why I mentioned it as the first major trait for a successful career. As a software engineer, a high percentage of your working time goes into writing code. So you must be good at it. The way you become good at coding is writing lots and lots of code. It doesn't matter if you're a web developer, testing, or back-end development, there's coding everywhere. Make sure you know one or more of the major programming languages like C++, C Sharp, Python, Java, or JavaScript. In addition to that, you cannot become a good coder without knowing data structures. So simply put, here's what you need to focus on if you want to become a good coder. Learn and practice popular programming language, work with different programming environments, understand software development fundamentals like data structures, basic algorithms, and testing. As a software engineer, it's a huge red flag if you can't write good, clean code. So attempting coding bootcamp, Learning through online courses and tutorials are some easy ways to become a better coder and improve your chances of success. Number two, learn about object-oriented design. Object-oriented design is a common paradigm to understand for software engineering. Focus on key principles for efficient software design, such as abstraction, inheritance, and calculation, and polymorphism. To be able to succeed at the top level, software engineers need to understand and implement these basic concepts to make modular and reusable software tools. Object-oriented design requires strong theoretical knowledge, so you can read some books about it. Here are my top three picks for the best object-oriented design books. First, we have Python Programming, Powerful Object-Oriented Programming. Python is one of the most popular programming languages and is in high demand, so if you're interested in looking at the OOP examples in Python, this book is for you. Next, we have Object-Oriented Thought Process. As the name of the book suggests, the author does a great job explaining what OOP is and its goals then also teaches you how to think in terms of objects and how to leverage that when designing applications. The last book we have is Head First, Object-Oriented Analysis and Design. This is a great book to learn how to analyze object-oriented software design. It's a great book to understand how you can write maintainable and reusable code. With comprehensive knowledge about object-oriented design, it becomes easier to get past the interview phase, which is the first step towards a successful engineering career. The third important thing, working on different platforms. You must be versatile as a software engineer because different companies work on different platforms. Comprehensive knowledge on these platforms and operational tools will make it easier to develop and deploy software solutions. Here are some of the major current platforms. First, we have cloud platforms. The industry is quickly shifting towards moving strategic workloads into the cloud to scale and become more efficient. As a software engineer, it's a good idea to have working knowledge of cloud platforms like AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Companies can easily scale and deploy software products through the cloud platforms, so they prefer working with these tools. Focus on learning about cloud-native applications based on machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data sciences. If you're good at cloud programming and architecture, there are higher chances of getting a good job as a cloud developer. Next, we have containers. Software optimization for multiple operating systems becomes remarkably easy with containers. Containers allow software packages to work with different operating systems at the same time. Generally, companies look for software engineers who are proficient with Docker and Kubernetes. In these modern days, these are some of the most appealing software skills for software engineers. The fourth important skill is software testing. Software testers will never go out of business even though it's the age of automation and artificial intelligence. Companies look for proficient software testers and it's one of the core skills needed to ensure a software engineering career. If you're good with testing, companies will want you to work for them. Automated testing is a viable but costly solution for companies, so they prefer human assistance in this area. You can look for online courses on Coursera, for example, to strengthen your testing skills and increase your chances of success in the software engineering field. The fifth important skill, software development. Honestly speaking, software development isn't just a skill for software engineers. It's actually what they are known to do as a professional in the company. However, I do believe software development is not just about developing efficient code and deploying it. Software development is about going through a rigorous process known as the software development life cycle. If you want to learn more about the software development life cycle, check out my video on the topic 
to understand it in detail. As a software engineer, you must be efficient at each stage of the software development lifecycle, which involves several technical skills like coding, designing, and testing, and many soft skills like teamwork, timely submission of tasks, and effective planning. So if you're a good software developer, it becomes easier to eke out the best performance from your team in any software company. But how do you practice this skill? If you want to become an excellent all-around software developer, it's best to work on open source projects like the ones you can find on GitHub. When you work with other developers, you'll learn how to manage teams and deliver software products on time, helping you polish your technical and managerial skills. The sixth important skill is software security. Thanks to more and more cloud and web-based solutions, companies are exposing more and more of their intellectual property on the internet. However, it poses a risk of security breaches. As a software engineer, it becomes critical to provide security solutions for safe software deployment. You can learn the basics of software security if you're looking for a tool to make you stand out in the pool of candidates. You can learn the basics of software security if you're looking for a tool to make you stand out in a pool of candidates. Moreover, it's great to earn certifications for software security because companies prefer candidates with proven records. The industry has high regard for software engineers with CISSP, CEH, ECSA, CISM certifications. The seventh skill, enhance your soft skills. Soft skills are a valuable addition to your resume. While your technical skills may land you a good job, your soft skills will help you become one of the best of your peers, taking you forward to a successful software engineering career. Here are some of the top soft skills to focus on. One, become a good team player. Good software product is a result of a group effort. So becoming a contributor to a project and take responsibility on your team. Remember, your success and failure as a team is shared by everyone. Next, enhance your communication skills. Whether it's about dealing with clients or talking to your peers, effective communication will help you get around tricky situations. So focus on how to communicate professionally. Talk in a soothing and low tone and present yourself as a welcoming team player to your peers. Next, improve on your problem solving skills. Problem solving is a key part of any software engineer's repertoire. It also requires good technical skills to help troubleshoot errors and hurdles in software design issues. Be sure to watch my video on the top reasons you won't land a software engineering job so you also know what to avoid when you're looking for a job. See you in there.